Hello again, Kill423 with EpicCouncils.com. We're at the point of the video where I'm going to be showing how to repair the trace wire and reinstall the the chip into the into the drive. Uh, here we have our trace cut. Uh, what we're going to want to do here is spread a little bit of a little bit of flex space out on it. Oops, a little heavy there. Oh well. No real such thing as too much. Just gives you a bit of a headache. I don't know why, but it's not one. Oh, I'm getting real tight on it here. Let me kick on the light. Alright. Now I've got my iron all warmed up here. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to take, oops, that in. We're going to take a little bit of solder, add it to the tip of the iron like so. And we're going to start by heating one side of our cut, or if you can manage to get in there and heat both sides at once, that'll work just as well. And you're just going to kind of And heat it up like so. Find the solder and just kind of drag it right across the trace. And you see how it just kind of melts right down to the board, and boom. That should be. Is good. Now I'm going to take and clean up all this excess flux. Some rubbing alcohol. Get in just a little closer if I can here. You can see you just want to get the bead to run across both sides of your cut. Just like so. It's kind of hard for me to see what you see at the same time. Just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and get it back into the into the disk drive. In the end, basically doing the same thing we did to take it out. Got your set of ports in the back. What I like to do is start on this side with the tabs sticking up. And just kind of lift the board and slide it in there underneath the lip and then bring it in like so and there you have it just pops right back into place now we got to solder all these wires back on I'm gonna go ahead and Apply some flux again to each one of these solder points. <sighs> Get in a little bit tighter here. This is where the tweezers really come in handy. Remember, like I said, too, it's 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 marked B R Y G W, indicating what color wire goes where. And grab my wire here. And 
is heat the solder and stuff the wire right in. Now we'll go ahead and clean up our flex paste here. Another thing I might note, when you go to get your flex paste, make sure you get it from an electronics store, not a hardware store. I just had a friend of mine who was sick, so he sent someone else to go get his flex paste, and he didn't notice, but it was the wrong stuff, and uh, Plumber's flex paste is not the same. It's more acidic, eats away, shorts stuff out, it's conductive. Don't use that stuff. Apparently it flows the solder real well. <laughs> oh, Morris. All the same. It's not right. Alright. Now the easy part. Stuff the wires all back in the ribbon cables. Make sure you got them firmly in. Remember this one here just lifts up. Flops back down. Lastly, we have this one. And there we have it. Drive is all ready to go back in. Flash and ready to go. So once again, this is kill 4 t 3 with EpicCouncils.com. If you uh, have any questions, feel free to hit me up at www.epiccouncils.com. If you're not comfortable with doing one of these mods on your own, feel free to hit me up at epicconsoles.com. Hey, make sure you put in this little tiny screw that holds the circuit board in place. Not 100% necessary, but 
More sense than that. Anyways, I was saying, epiccouncil.com, epiccouncil.com, epiccouncil.com. That would be my site. Thank you very much. Enjoy and good luck.